Hello everyone, today we are starting with a new chapter which is an introduction to HTML chapter 8. Learning in this chapter, introduction to HTML, hypertext, markup language, HTML editor, what you see is what you get editor and your text editor. An overview. Children, in this contemporary world, the internet is a buzzword which is playing a vital role in the overall development of information technology. The internet has revolutionized the world economy as well as society. Using the internet, you can share data and information across the globe instantly. The servers share their data or information resources available on the internet with clients. The clients rely on servers for files, devices and even processing power. The server stores the files and information in the form of websites. These websites consist of millions of pages called web pages which contains text, graphics, video, audio and links to the other pages called hyperlinks. These web pages can be accessed and viewed by different users around the world with the help of a software application called web browser. Introduction to HTML Have you ever wondered how the web pages are created? Which language is used to write these web pages? Yes, the answer is HTML. HTML is the most widely used language to design web contents for the internet. HTML stands for Hypertext Markup Language. It is a complete code package that allows the user to create a web page that contains both text and graphics. It is a simple markup language that describes the structure and behavior of the web document. All the web browsers are designed to understand and interpret this language. What is hypertext? Hypertext is a piece of ordinary text that has been neatly organized with the special features of linking to other documents or web pages. Basically, when we design our pages using HTML, the text that we write it is termed as hypertext because it has been organized in a way that it renders some special features and which will be reflected when you will be opening your web pages. What is a markup language? It is a language that uses special symbols called tags. In HTML, we use tags. These tags are used to indicate as which part of the document is the title of the document, which part is the heading or subheading and so on. Children, originally HTML was developed with the intent of defining the structure of documents to facilitate the sharing of scientific information between researchers. Now it is being widely used to format web pages with the help of different tags. HTML editors. Now we shall see how we are going to write up our codes using some editors. HTML editors are the programs that are used for creating and saving the documents. Mainly there are two types of HTML editor. First is what you see is what you get editor and the second is text editor. We shall see both of them in the next slide. Now, what you see is what you get editor. It stands for what you see and what you get. This type of editor allows a developer to see what the end results will look like while the document is being created. These editors provide various tools and graphical interfaces where the web pages are designed. While using a what you see is what you get editor, Users may not require the knowledge of HTML commands as the elements. 
images, tables, lists, etc. can be placed on the interface and the required HTML code will add it automatically. For an example, Adobe Dreamweaver, Amaya, Google Web Designers and so on. Next is your text editor. This is the editor where we are going to do our HTML coding in the later half of your classes. You can also create HTML documents using our normal text editors like Notepad or WordPad. Unlike your previous editor, which was what which, uh, we have discussed, that is what you see is what you get editor. Here, one is required to have a proper knowledge of HTML commands to develop web pages. But when we talk about what you see is what you get, there we need not to remember any of the codes as the codes are automatically added. But in text editor, you need to have a good command, own the tags and the language that has been required to develop the web pages. We shall see the other topics in the next classes. As of now, thank you.